Regular plinks was always a niche weapon, not super popular, but some people liked it, and thanks to its very high ribbon disposition, it actually worked. Now, the nave version gets an improved set of stats. An old fire, which is an explosion, because of course it's an explosion, but there's a fun twist to it. Primary fire is just an improved version of the regular plinks, with silly high critical potential. But alt fire mode? You see, as with any explosive weapon, damage is split between two things. Direct hit and AoE damage. The net blinks has its direct damage as 100% impact, and on its own, that's not huge. However, when you click that alt fire, the net blinks dumps the entire magazine in one shot. So the multi shot value is huge enough to make very good use of hemorrhage. But only with direct hits, explosion does not trigger impact. To build it, I went with viral, but with an ice storm for extra magazine size. More shots equals stronger alt fire. Rank 0 toxin mod, so impact gets more procs with that hemorrhage. Also, all 3 galvanized mods, and for the last mod, it's between lethal torrent and synth charge. Because alt fire dumps it all, then it apparently counts towards synth charge, and results are devastating. So at least, as is now, it's worth using it. However, primary mode on itself is good, so if you're using both fire modes, I would probably go with lethal torrent. If you're only using alt fire mode, then of course, synth charge. Galvanized crosshairs is in there because it allows the weapon to go for reliable orange crits, and weapon has high enough critical chance, so even when you're not zoomed in, you will hit reliable yellow crits. Galvanized shot does not work with the AoE, but it means you can primer targets for this weapon and increase bleed procs significantly. For sister element, I got magnetic, because that was my first thing to try with it. To have magnetic, viral, and heat, since weapon has heat as its base damage and radiation in its alt fire. But using impact there should also be very much a top tier option, because more impact should mean more bleeds. But it's something to test further, as it not only improves alt fire, but also adds impact to primary fire mode, which makes hemorrhage work even there. Not reliably, but something is better than nothing. So impact is the next one for me. Let me know how it works for you, and if it's anywhere near I think it is, it should be devastating. Primary fire mode is a hitscan projectile, but alt fire isn't. Yet it travels fast at 100 meters per second. It's worth knowing it, as I can't seem to see projectiles. Reload is a charge, and the more you fire, the slower it charges up, which is not too slow, but if you constantly use your old fire, it can feel sluggish. So for old fire spam, it's very much recommended to use a frame that makes reload faster. It's a fun weapon, and it's a fun one to build, as it challenges our standard builds. And it's likely that this weapon will have many variations in its build, as it highly depends on which fire mode you use more. If you have a ribbon, it's the lowest disposition, so probably the best option would be to get that viral on your ribbon, and something nice next to it. Maybe fire rate or magazine size. That's for a self-sufficient build. If you want to prime targets with other weapons, and then nuke without alt fire, then viral goes out the window. Lethal torrent and sin charge go in alongside prime magazine size mod. But even with the best roll like multi-shot fire rate magazine size, it's unlikely to be noticeably better. Which is cool, as it makes Tenet Blinks a very strong sidearm that does not need ribbons to be fully enabled, and as is, does not even gain much from them. That's it for this one, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.